What's up, guys? Well, you've read the title. I went to the dentist today, got some work done on this side of my face, and you know, a girl's got a schedule, and I still got to do this Halloween look today, so I thought it would be kind of funny to do it for them. Maybe this will be a train wreck. So today I'm transforming myself into Winifred Sanderson, fan favorite, my best friend's idea, and also I just watched that movie two nights ago with my kids, and they loved it, of course. So I'm going to get started and probably try not to talk too, too much because this is real embarrassing. I'm basically frozen from right here to like right this like whole area. Can't feel. Yeah, I don't think she has any eyebrows. Maybe I should glue mine down. So one fun fact about Hocus Pocus is that Bette Midler claims that it's her favorite movie she's ever done. Like, same Bette. Okay, so next I'm going to add some really bright blush. Hers is like really red to go with her cool red hair. So I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Eye Bright. <laughs> I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker Palette in the shade Licorice and, and what? That's this guy and this guy. I'm going to do a little mix and give myself some very low close to my nose blush. Another fun fact about Hobus Bobus, <laughs> I can't feel this at all, um, is that the role of Max was originally supposed to be for Leonardo DiCaprio, um, who actually turned down the role in favor of filming What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Haha. <laughs> okay, so it looks like her eyeshadow is sort of like a greenish brown all the way across the line, almost all the way through. bold choice. So I'm taking a bit of Tasty from the Jawbreaker palette and kind of haphazardly applying it. When Red does a decent job of blending but not great. <laughs> and I'm also going to take a little bit of Sour which is green and I'm just going to work that through a little bit. And I'm also going to take Twig from the Sultry palette from ABH. And it actually doesn't look like her shadow is not, so I'm going to get a bit of shimmer. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, this color probe from the Alien palette and work it on top. Just kind of roughly. I think for brows it looks like she does kind of have a little, like a tiny little skinny brow. So, I'm just taking this Wet n Wild Mega Liner, it's liquid, and I'm just gonna Someone tell me to wear I can't really go like this. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to put a little bit of prosate on my nose so that I can mold a nose from Scar Wax to look more like her. So it's just really hooked down. I'm really not feeling these eyebrows, so I probably am going to cover them up. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure she has some my nose, so. I actually think my width of my nose is like kind of exactly like hers. But I do need to lengthen the point and then like round out the nostrils up here. Putting a bit of brother on the inside of the nose too. Hoping that will help it stick. So 
So another fun fact about Hocus Pocus is that Sarah Jessica Parker, I can't remember her name in the movie, but the witch who sings to like lure the children, was actually related to one of the witches who was on trial in the Salem Witch Trials. I think that's pretty good. It's a little crooked. <laughs> so another fun fact is actually about the makeup, which is that the makeup artist for the film, Tony Gardner, said that they actually had to tone down the original makeup after some early tests said that kids found it too scary. Uh, that part's really hard being present. Uh. So another fun fact about Hocus Pocus is um, when Billy, the zombie, gets his mouth cut open, those are real moths that fly out of his mouth. <laughs> Apparently they use a dental dam so they wouldn't go down his throat, but those are legit moths. You couldn't pay me enough. So that was the face paint I used for the lips. Now I'm going to use a NYX um, white eyeliner to make the teeth on my lips. I thought it on my bottom lip because I couldn't feel an happening. Sweet. Oh, this might be my roughest makeup ever. So I have my Jon Snow wig. Let's just make sure I don't catch my nose on this. Oh, I'm starting to see it a little bit now without my own hair. Oh my god. So literally <gasps> Did you guys see that? Just almost pulled off my nose the hair. Okay, so my last little fun fact about the movie Hocus Pocus is that in most countries the movie is known as Abracadabra. Well, that's it, you guys. Winifred Sanderson and the flesh. Kind of wish I didn't do the widow's peak. Let's hide it a little more. Thanks for coming back, guys. I'll see you on the next one.